chapter science courses. So today will be our first chapter and that is living things and environment. Have you ever wondered what's around us? About our surroundings, about our about the differences between the things around us. So we usually divide our environment in two things, living things and non -living. But before that, let us know what is environment. So, what is environment and what makes it? The thing that is around us, the surroundings makes our environment. And what makes it? We'll be knowing it little by little. Okay. All the living things and events surrounding us makes our environment. So, obviously, we have Obviously, some things together have to make our environment, right? So, the, our environment is divided into two things, living things and non-living things. So, let me now show you what makes our environment. Humans, the sun, the non-living things, buildings, trees, all these things makes our environment. Now, learn, now let's learn in detail what makes our environment. I've already described it, everything surround, in our surroundings makes our environment, whether it is living or non-living things, but makes up the environment. Environment includes everything that is vegetation, water, microorganisms, soil, rocks, and other atmosphere. Okay, so let us first discuss, it will be, it's in, since it's a new word for you, what is vegetation? Vegetation usually includes plants, the natural habitat of animals and plants around us, hills, these are all known as vegetation. Usually the living things that are around us. Okay. And next is microorganisms. What is microorganisms? Microorganisms are little th living things that is around us. It is in water, it is in um, food, this is usually, there are some, for example, the microorganisms are virus, infections, etc. Okay, and we all, I think, we, still, we all know about soil, rocks, and atmosphere. Atmosphere. It's a new word for you guys, but we'll soon learn this in chapter 8. Okay? I think I've already discussed about it, but I'm still repeating it that our environment has already divided the things around us into two groups, living and non-living things. Living and non-living things. Okay. Now let us think, well, how can we identify what's a living and what's a non-living thing? So, living things are things that breathe, like humans, animals, and plants, that can, that can move by themselves, they grow and they die at a certain time. But non-living things, we can see the things that use human supports to move, that do not breathe, that just is man-made, okay? Now we will discuss how can we identify living and non-living things. Now we can question ourselves that mountain, lakes, forests and water, they, don't, they do not move. So we can consider them as living, non-living things, but they are natural things. We can also identify living and non-living things by, divi by dividing them into man-made or natural things. Most of the natural things are living things and most of the man-made things are non-living things. So mountains, lakes, hills, forests, they are all living things. Houses. Then cars, then you can also consider about shoes, chairs, they are all living, non-living things. So, and animals, insects, birds, trees, they are all living things because they can breathe, they can move, they can grow and they are natural things. They is all the things around us makes our environment. Now let's see the things around us. Can you guys identify the things around us? We have trees, we have animals, water, hills, then birds, animals. These are all living things.
thing. These are the natural things that is around us. So these are considered as living things.